Thank you for joining us for the webinar about appointment planning for the 2018 Total Store Expo. My name is Mary Medawar and I am the Director of Exhibit Services. Today we will review our Expo website, the Exhibitor Dashboard, and the Online Planner. We hope that this and other webinar and tools will provide you to have a very successful Total Store Expo this year in Denver, Colorado. Our goals for today's webinar are to provide you with an overview of the TSC website, review the Exhibitor Dashboard, and learn how to set up and manage your online planner. Let's start by looking at where to access information on the Total Store Expo website. The site has been designed so that the information you need is easily found under one of three headings. Under the Exhibit section, links for the exhibitor registration and information about the product showcase and resources for exhibitors, including your exhibitor dashboard, are available. New companies interested in Meet the Market will find a description of the program and the link to the participation form. Companies interested in meeting sponsorship will find all they need to know under the Sponsor section. Information about who is attending the Expo can be found under the Plan menu by clicking the Participants link. To access information on this page beyond the company names, you will need the email address and NACDS password for a registered show attendee. Also, you must have at least 25% of your booth space paid for prior to access being granted to protected content. You will be prompted to log in when you click on Locked Content. Once logged in, you may search for attendees by retail company, by the type of stores, or by product category, or you can, you can click on the current registration list. This list can easily be printed off or saved as a PDF and shared with your sales team in your office. The Excel file listed can be used as a starting point for building a mailing list, but it should be noted that the contact information is not provided in this document to discourage non-targeted mass emails. Overall, we suggest using this page as a source to look up for specific attendee names, research company information like store counts, or to email or call a retail contact directly. To email a contact, click their name and an email should open in Outlook or other email service. Since many of you are new to our show or industry, and since category responsibilities tend to shift within retail organizations, your best source of information on who to contact for appointments is going to be found in the exhibitor dashboard provided by Map Your Show. Here, you can manage your company profile and your product, service, or offerings. You can do your exhibit payment, have your online planner located on the dashboard, manage your email notifications of your planner activity, access your product showcase, load advertising content, manage your online display, access your leads, and share your show presence. Each exhibiting company receives one set of login credentials for managing their company listing and schedule. If you have not received these credentials, please contact us at exhibits at nacds.org and we'll send the email containing your exhibitor ID and password to the person listed as your booth logistics contact. Once you've logged in, take a moment to familiarize yourself with the tiles on the dashboard. It's well labeled, providing the user with all the available functions in a single view. You have your exhibitor directory listing, and this should be your starting point upon initial login to the dashboard. Then you have upload advertising content, and this is dependent on your listing package, and this tile would be your destination to upload your marketing content. There's submit payments and download invoice which is where you'll be able to access and pay for any purchases or your booth. Online advertising packages allows you to upgrade from a standard listing to highlight your company among the other exhibitors on the interactive floor plan and in the planner. Share Your Show Presence contains hyperlinks that you may use in regular email correspondence to direct contacts to your booth location on the floor plan or your company profile. View Leads and Stats provides metrics and specific information to gauge the online interest for your company. Product Showcase, this exhibit upgrade provides your company with an additional location to highlight your products at the expo. There are limited opportunities for this popular upgrade. Appointments and Messages, this is your destination for managing your schedule and meeting invitations, which we'll go over in more detail shortly. And finally, Change Password, you'll go here if you would like to change your system-generated password. 
reviewing your company information should be your starting point before sending out any invitations. If your company listing is incomplete, please take time to edit and complete each section to ensure it accurately describes your company and the products or services you're showing at the Expo. Your category info is critical to be in place so that attendees searching for products or services in your category will see your company listed in their search results. In addition, the online planner provides each exhibitor with the ability to search for retail attendees that match to your company based on these categories you've included in your company information. At any point in the months ahead, you can always return here to edit your company information. Before you can send any invitations, you will need to set up your schedule of available time slots. Select the Appointments and Messages tile located in the second to last row of the dashboard here. Within the Exhibitor Dashboard, Appointments and Messages, often referred to as the Appointment Planner, contains great features including the ability to see the retail attendees registered with your category, and this is updated daily, manage invitations to retail attendees en masse or one by one with personalized notes, track your invitation responses, add meetings to your schedule made outside of the planner, and the ability to assign meetings to specific exhibition staff. Map Your Show has centralized the tools for appointment planning into one screen. Under the email preferences, exhibiting companies have the option of listing up to five email addresses to receive notifications when an appointment has been scheduled with your company or when an appointment has been canceled. These may be modified at any time during show planning. Let's look at setting up your schedule. First, you'll click on the attendee scheduling. To build your schedule of open time slots, start by selecting the day. Companies may set up multiple tracks for meetings in increments of 15 or 30 minutes and may also create meeting track options by location if the company has multiple booths or private meeting space in addition to their booth. To build your schedule for a day, select the start time of your first appointment and the end time of your last appointment and then click Submit Schedule Additions to add the times to your schedule. Your current schedule will be displayed below. Repeat this process for each day until your schedule is complete. NACDS recommends creating at least two time slots for 100 square foot booths. As the size of your booth and attending sales team increases, you may want to provide enough time slots to accommodate all the visitors to your booth that could be meeting at one time. For example, if you have three sales representatives and two areas for meeting, I would recommend three time slots for your company. Two can be booked for meetings concurrently in your designated meeting areas, and one for overage so you don't miss out on potential appointments. Should you find you have more appointments in any one time block than you can manage, you can reach out to the interested retailers to see if they have other availability. Here's an example of a schedule once created. We see only one time slot per 15 minute increments. However, if we had selected two for every 15 minutes, then there would be two separate lines for each time slot. The number of slots you choose to make available can be varied throughout your show days and you can purposely choose to keep selected times as unavailable or create them later. This is recommended when planning larger meetings through offline phone or email conversations. You may adjust the time slots available for a specific time block by clicking the plus or minus sign. For appointments made by phone or regular email, you may add them to your schedule by clicking the reserve link for a specific date and time. Then complete the fields and select Add Update Notes. It's important to note that the information entered here will only appear on your schedule and does not place a similar note on the schedule of any other attending parties. With your schedule created, you can now build your prospect list of retail attendees for invitations. Within this section, you may search for attendees based on criteria such as company, title, and product category. You may add multiple product categories to your search. Click the checkboxes and save attendees you wish to add to your working list for invitations. Next, click the View and Invite tab to see your saved attendees and determine which individual or individuals you would like to contact with an invitation. You have two options for sending appointment requests. Whenever possible, we suggest using the custom invitation which affords you the ability to send a brief personal message about your company or products and express a preference for meeting day or time in the body of the message. The screen will appear if just one name is selected from the previous View and Invite screen. 
Custom invitations are sent immediately to the retail attendee directly through their email. The second option is to send a generic invitation. If multiple names are selected from the View and Invite screen, the generic invitation displayed here will open, which is not customizable and merely adds your company to a list for the retail attendee to review. Generic invitations are compiled and sent overnight. Whether custom or generic, you can only contact a retail attendee once through the appointment planner. Follow-up correspondence must be done through mail, email, or a phone call. After sending invitations, you'll receive responses. The screen here depicts the responses you'll receive indicated by the icons on the right. A closed envelope means an invitation has been sent. A green check mark means the attendee has accepted through the online planner. The red triangle means your invitation has been declined. An open envelope means an invitation is queued to be sent. Clicking the X will cancel the invitation. And the envelope with the arrow means that your invitation has been forwarded to another retail attendee when they consider the request to be best managed by someone else from their company. If a meeting is accepted, it will appear on your agenda. Meetings will appear on your schedule from invitations sent by you or from retail attendees that would like to meet with you. A retail attendee does not need to be invited by you to schedule a meeting with you. If you do not wish to meet with a retail attendee that appears on your schedule, or you wish to meet with you at a different time, you retain the right to cancel a meeting. When you cancel a meeting, a form will appear to provide a response to the retail attendee, and then the appointment will be removed from both agendas. Finally, by clicking on the reporting tile, you have the option to export your scheduled appointments based on the day of the show, the type of meeting, assigned person, or all of your appointments into an Excel spreadsheet. We encourage you to explore our website and the Exhibitor Dashboard features to familiarize yourself with where items are located before you get into the heavy planning months. Visit the Resources for Exhibitor page for a checklist of items to ensure you're on track with your planning. If you're a first-time exhibiting company and have not yet established your membership with NACDS, please return your membership application or contact us at membership at nacds.org to retain member pricing for your booth and any individual registrations. If you have not registered your personnel for the meeting, please do so so that they will be listed on the participants section of the website. They will also have access to show information, and so if that hotel is needed, they can also reserve their accommodations. On the topic of hotel, Please be wary of persons that may contact you or your team about event housing. We do not work with any outside hotel services or agencies. In addition, you and your team may get solicited to buy attendee lists for the show, but as we have seen, you get this included in the cost of attending on the participants page. Some of our vendor partners will be in contact with you about the show. These include CompuSystems for the lead retrieval system, Freeman for the show kit, map your show about their online listing upgrade, and some of our smaller vendors like photo, staffing agent, agencies, or others, as is typical of show preparation. When in doubt, please feel free to contact us. And finally, if your company has not signed up for the Meet the Market program, a form which describes your products or services to be shown must be completed. The link to register for the program is available online under the Exhibit section under Meet the Market Exhibitors. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this presentation to be helpful in your upcoming show planning. Please make sure to review the webinar schedule if you would like to join us for a live version for Q&A or for other topics throughout your pre-show planning this year. Have a wonderful day.